Hey guys and welcome to Casual Retro Gamer. My name's Glenn and today we're going to take a look at that time the Commodore Amiga tried its hand at a Mode 7 style kart racer. Alright guys, so here we are. Commodore Amiga 1200, hooked up through the capture device so everything's playing on the machine. Uh, is the original disc, unfortunately these have died so we're going to be relying on WSD load today to play the game. So I will just get into that now. Games. Extreme Racing. And as you can see there, this is version 1.1. So here we are, Extreme Racing. This is the main menu. Presents you with main options, which takes you into the game itself. Setup options. Link up options for connecting two Amigas and up to eight players. Then you can save your settings in your lap times and quit back to workbench. So we'll just go into the setup options quickly. We have the ability here to change our controls, change the laps per race, turn sound effects on for on, and you can even add your own custom sound effects here. You can change the module, which is the music that plays. The game uses Pro Tracker modules. You can actually add your own as well, but they have to be three channel mods rather than four channel, which most are on the Amiga. Uh, the fourth sound channel on the Amiga here is uh, only for the sound effects in this game. But we'll stick it on random, so we got a different track every every lap or every race. Sorry. Turn the weapons off and on. Make all the human cars equal. Uh, if you have a multiplayer game, it's handy to turn that on. Uh, four player adapter. Turn that on or off. I have never actually seen a four player adapter for the Amiga. That'd be something that would be interesting in picking up. So if any of you guys can recommend where to get one, drop a wee comment down below there. Auto save our lap times, so turn that on. And auto save the setup, that's handy to have on. Uh, we'll just go into the controls quickly. So this game lets us assign controls for the four players that this the one Amiga can accommodate. Uh, we're using controller port 2 and I'm using the CD32 joypad here. Auto accelerate on or off, we'll leave that off. Control method, normal or easy. Normal's fine to be honest with you. But a brilliant feature in this game allows us to define our own controls. So the game as standard is up for accelerate, which is just absolutely useless. So I like to have red for accelerate, brake is blue, left and right in the D-pad, and then green for fire. That's us done. Right. So, into the game itself. We can pick our players, just the one of me today, so we'll do that. Then we've got cup race, season race, single race. We'll do a quick cup race. You're presented with all these options. Each one of them consists of six tracks, I believe, and they're all unique, which is brilliant. Plenty of selection in this game. So, we'll just do the easy one, tortoise cup. Then we get to select our engine class. This is a bit like Mario Kart, where you have your was it 50 cc, 100 and 125 cc. Um, we're sticking on the middle one that's closer to like the 100 cc in Mario Kart. Personally, I find this the you know, personally I find this speed the most uh, fun in the game. Right, so player select. What I forgot. Uh, each one of the players has slightly different attributes. Their cars, some fast, some slow, some accelerate quicker than others, um, some have better grip and whatnot. I actually find the first guy here is probably the best all around. So that's us, road race, road circuit number one. Press far to start. So this is us, 8 player, kart style racing, jumps, power ups, oh that was a rocket, ah crap, when you hit those barrels you spin out of control and as you can see you very quickly wind up at the back of the, back of the pack. The game is tough enough, now if you do get to the back it can sometimes be a bit of a struggle to get back up to the front but let's see how well we can do here. In fact, we have picked up another rocket. So, if we can catch up with one of these guys, let's see 
if we can take him out. Yes! Very satisfying explosion. Just like something out of Doom. Brilliant. Trying to avoid this jump this time and get around this fella. As you can see, the controls are really tight. The game is great fun to play. Tracking missile. Back up to third place now. This power up is a jump. Which is actually not as useful in this game as it would be in the likes of Mario Kart, where you can use it to jump over obstacles. Uh, fortunately, the way this game works, you'll still hit the obstacle regardless if you're in the air or not. This is a turbo. Give me a nice speed boost here, so I can catch up with this fella. Ah oh, well, second place, we'll take it. Press far to continue. So unlike Mario Kart, there's no points or anything like that when finishing a, a cup race. Uh, you must finish in the top three to continue, but you always start from the back of the pack. We'll just actually take a quick look into some of the game options here. We have the ability here to change the camera. We can change it, we can rotate the camera as well, the horizon, it's excellent. This allows you to change the graphical routines, so we can put it onto the blitter. You can see you lose a lot of quality, but you do gain an awful lot of speed with that. Uh, the O2 and O3 O routines definitely look the best. I have the pixel width and height set to 1 here, which is the best that you can get it to. You can put it down to 2x2 two two or any combination of them and try and get a bit more speed, depending on the power of your, of your Amiga. Um, you can change this, the screen width. Uh, my machine is modified now. There is an 030 40 MHz accelerator in there, but it still does struggle at that full width, so I just turn it down to that. You can also take it lower if you want. Uh, you can change the screen height to if it will work full screen like that. I personally think it goes too blurry like that, so I prefer to keep it like this. Let's change it back to one. You can turn the backgrounds off and on, which will give a, actually give a very noticeable speed increase if your machine struggling to run this. Uh, but as I say, we're fine. Dithering puts that effect onto it. Um, doesn't really do anything in terms of performance. So let's get back into the game quickly. This map, very styled after Mario Kart, so as you can see, straight in the first place, I love it. Oh, hit that fella, sorry about that. Bomb. No. Missed him. The speed up tiles in this are slightly different. You see, it's nice to be touches like that, the, key, the levels are well designed, well laid out. The water slows you down a wee bit as you would expect. You've also got the deep water over here. and fall into that just to show you. Lift it back out again. But like last time when we hit the barrel, you can see you quickly move your way down the pack. That's the speed up. Heading alone one of those guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, coming up in the last lap. And we're back in the first place, excellent. Well, I'm afraid that is me out of it, but at least this will show you what happens. Uh, you need to, as I said before, you need to finish in the top three to progress. 
and I unfortunately finished fifth, so I have been raced out. And I sank into the deep water. Why not? So that's me out of the cup. I failed to qualify. And we're back to here. So I'll just take a quick look at some of the other game options. The single race, just have a look at this quickly. You can select how many computer cards you want to compete against. Again, select your, your speed class. We'll go with the turbo this time. Maybe pick someone different. Nah, there's a Terminator. We'll take a Terminator out. But this time we get to pick whatever whatever circuit we want. I would have liked to have seen this load the track preview itself. We have to press blue to do it, but there it is. Um, let's see, we'll try and pick something there. This actually quite shows off the graphics of the game. Right, let's get into it. Three, two, one, go! Oh, that's I think the, it's probably my favorite track style, just for the graphics in it, the purple and all, and the, the effects on the, the sides of it there. Almost looks like something out of F-Zero on the, on the snares. Obviously picking the, the uh, faster speed makes the game a wee bit harder to control but it also makes it harder to compete the, the computer opponents there are also considerably faster and as you see I'm having a real hard time catching up with this guy in front of me I'm sort of stuck in 6th place here ah fell off the edge yeah good point you can't fall off the edge on this level I'm afraid this is looking like it's going to be a last place. I can't seem to get around that corner very quick. Oh no, what was that? So, as I touched on earlier there, the game is actually quite demanding on the Amiga hardware. Uh, as I said, my Amiga is expanded with the accelerator. If you were trying to run this on a stock A1200, you have to use the blitter mode. Uh, the 020 and 030 retains are only selectable if you have uh, fast RAM installed. Now I can run this on my CD32, which has the Terrible Fire 328 expansion in it. So that, that adds 8 megabytes. Oh, I fell off the edge again. That adds 8 megabytes of fast RAM. Um, I can't get it run just as smooth as this because obviously it's still on the 14 megahertz OTO processor. But um, if I turn the graphic quality down to 2x1 on the scaling and turn off the backgrounds, it is perfectly playable. Right, enter our name. Classic. No, no, it's not classic plan, it's casual. Casual, Retro, Gamer. Right, so it just keeps bringing you back here. If you want to go back uh, to the main menu, you just press skip. Right, so the other game mode to show you today, Season Race. This is a wee bit different. This is actually probably a wee bit more like your Mario Kart Cup Race. There's points to, for depending on your position. And, but there's also money, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. As you see this time there's no speed class to choose from, and that's actually built into the, to this game style. And yes, you start off slow. Banana. I'll probably run into that myself the next lap, which is always the way. Told you, wasn't even the next lap, it's the same lap. So 
So in this mode, it is really important to try and get yourself up the leaderboard here as far as possible. Now you really want to try and win these early races. And you can see coins floating about the track there. There's silver coins, coins and gold coins. They are sort of placed out of the way, not really on the racing line. Um, if you do happen to go offline and can pick one up handy enough, certainly go for it. But don't be going out of your way. It's more important to try and get a good position to get more money that way. Take right that guy. So the whole point of this mode really is to buy upgrades. Try and get this coin. Ah, damn it. So after every race, depending on where you finish, you get your allocated points and your allocated money. And then it takes you into a shop. Final lap. And I'll show you the shop in a second. First place. Keep it going. There we are, winner. Perfect. Right, first place we get nine points and 2,000 cash. That's the league table, nine points. So, the shop. We can buy engine upgrade, 2,300. Tires upgrade, 1,200. Brake upgrade, 750. Additional points, well, we don't really need that on top of the leaderboard anyway, they're 1,500. And we can buy turbos, so you can start the race with one turbo or whatever it is you buy. Um, personally though, I would recommend holding off and saving up for the engine upgrades. That's really what you need in this mode to be able to compete. As you go through the game, the competitors will get faster themselves, so it's important to get those engine upgrades. You can upgrade each element of your car to, you see the smiley faces that were beside them there, you can upgrade each element to a total of five smiley faces, so it's like five levels of upgrade. Oh, it's so slow. Taking over this guy's rocket. <coughs> Took over his rocket and then his rocket came and shot me. Honestly. Go we get this coin. Excellent. Go back point two. So yeah, I really enjoy this game. It, 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 it's it really is the best. Mode 7 style kart racer on the Amiga. In fact, it might actually be the only Mode 7 style kart racer on the Amiga, but it is nice to see that it was done right. There is another kart racing game on this platform. Bump and Burn, I think it's called. Um, but it's not really onto this style. It's more like a scaler. It plays more like a scaler style racing game, if you know what I mean. You know, like the likes of Outrun. Um, it's the same basic principles, you know, it's a, you race around the track, you pick up power-ups and whatnot. That's okay, it's just nowhere near as polished as this. It, this definitely models itself after Mario Kart on the SNES. And it is unfortunate that it needs such a powerful Amiga, but if you don't have the physical hardware, definitely you need to check this out in emulation. I mean, it's, it's, it's great fun. Race over. And in the water again. Why not? So we got 9,000. Plus we picked up those coins, so it was. Yeah, we got quite a bit of money actually for those coins. So that's buying an engine upgrade. It was 1,900. Nah, what would we buy? Tires. That's 700. I can't afford a turbo. Oh well. So you may notice this time it'll probably be slightly faster. You may, might not be able to notice it with the. Uh, only be on one upgrade, but let's see. I'll get out of the way.
Yeah, so we're having a much easier time now, even with that one upgrade, being able to stay ahead of the pack. Lap record. How is that a lap record? Anyway. Where that bomb? Somebody call the marshals. This guy is injured. What? Oh, I missed them. How can I miss them? Get this speed up here, we see. Back in the first place. Thank you. That's because I hit that guy. Slow me way down. Ew. Oh, crap. Turbo. Brilliant. Winner, winner. <coughs> Right, so let's see if we can just get out of this. Maybe not. The season lasts quite a while. I think it's 12 races in total. Then it, so it gives you plenty of time actually to get your car upgraded fully. So that's pretty much it guys. Extreme racing on the Amiga. I personally highly recommend it. Great fun. Um, as I said, if you can't play it on the actual hardware, because it is quite demanding, definitely check it out on emulation when you AA. And uh, thank you for watching Casual Retro Gamer. Uh, hey guys, quick addendum to the video. Um, obviously this is my first video on YouTube. I want to thank anyone that has watched it. Um, welcome, very much welcome any comments. I do tend to waffle on a wee bit uh, when playing games. So if you think maybe the runtime is a wee bit too long, you think maybe I was waffling too much, okay, let me know sure and uh, we'll take it on board going forward. Um, the video runtime has went on quite a bit. I did intend just to do a quick review here of this game but it's turned into more of a let's play review i don't know if that's something that interests you um, throughout the channel we're going to be looking at the amiga plus plenty of other retro consoles uh, i've recently just moved house and we're in the process of building a new man cave for myself uh, which is going to become the recording studio as well just recording in the living room at the minute um, so yeah once that's all done look at that we'll move in there and hopefully get better quality videos and all for you um if it would interest anyone i maybe do a wee mini video every now and then update how progress is doing building the cave um i was also going to do uh like pickup videos things like that uh maybe hardware hardware tear down some hardware repairs this 1200 the floppy drive in it is making very strange noises so um it needs looking at certainly i think it just needs cleaned out and greased and whatnot so i could do every quick tear down videos things like that show, just show how to do that um yeah that's it thanks very much again for watching and i'll see you next time